Happy Student Movement, welcome to Online Youth. Tonight we're going to have some worship, a short devotional from Pastor Benton, and a crazy food challenge with some of our senior highs. So right now we're going to be going into some songs, so wherever you are, come and join us.
with me all my days I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God Hey guys, welcome to Youth Online. As you can see, I'm not being quiet, I'm being loud tonight, and I'm joining you from a couch in our foyer, if you don't know that. And I miss you guys. Junior highs, I really miss you. Senior highs, I miss you too, but I don't I don't get to see junior highs as much. I hope you guys joined us tonight, and I hope that you enjoy Youth Online, because it is a little weird. We know that, but the biggest thing we want you to get is to connect with people and, and us around you. And we want to do something that helps you grow spiritually every week. So tonight we're going to have a short devotional. Next week, Pastor John's going to speak on camera. Um, and as of right now, you know, you guys know as well as we do that uh, the lockdown, we are not going to gather. And so we don't know how long that is. But tonight we're going to have some fun. And I am really excited for you to watch uh, Cam Strickland and the Strickland family do a little bit of an illustration tonight. And what we're talking about is the thought of you are what you eat. Crazy thought. If you've ever heard the, the phrase uh, garbage in, garbage out, it's kind of like that we're talking about. And the thought of food affects us physically. 
and then it's it's a metaphor for spiritually. But first, I want you to watch this video. Cam is crazy, and uh, they do some things with eating, and sh- they show us what re- how we have a reaction from food. So watch this for a, a second, and we'll talk about it after. Hi, youth. Oh, wow. All right. And uh, well, take two. Hi, youth. It's uh, it's Cam Strickland here. You know, I'm not bound and gagged. Just blindfolded. It's okay. No need to worry. I understand that my sweater matches my wall. Very funny. Get your jokes out now. All the lumberjack ones. There you go. All right. Uh, so here's what's gonna happen. Uh, Benton has instructed my little brother Alex to feed me things. Uh, he made us do it. Let's go. All right. I guess I'm. It's some kind of blind taste test. So bring it. What do we got? Throw it in the hand right, there. Hold on, let me just adjust the camera a little bit more here. All right, it's good. You can cut it out, man. All right, and <laughs> you're right in front of the camera. So we got a, a nice bag of foods here. Stop! Don't touch my elbow. It's weird. All right, so we got. I'll I'll give them to you. Just wait like two minutes. Okay. I'm hungry. Not, not yet. Hold on. Don't touch it, cause right. then you'll know what it is. Okay. So we got a spoon. Yeah, we got two spoons here. Okay. All right, no, don't, don't touch it. The spoon. Yeah, not yet, not yet. All right. So we got this right here. We're gonna open it like so. My trusty assistant, grab a piece of popcorn. I mean, not popcorn. Grab it. <laughs> put, an, to put another one in. First item's popcorn. Yeah, yeah, another one. All right, so we got Popcorn. I don't know if it's gonna focus here, but it's pop popcorn inside this. Hold that for me, please. Take your spoon and take your pudding. My what? Pudding. You don't want me to putting it in my mouth? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no. funny. All right, now eat. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, this. What? Did you put popcorn in pudding? <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, ew, you're going for more? Yeah, that's new. Gives it kind of a crunch. Oh, it's still okay. Alright. Next item. Croutons and salad are disgusting. Hayden, watch out. Is the next item croutons and salad? No, it is not. Okay. Okay, so. Hold this for me. Oh, sweet. Alright, I've never used this condiment before. Hey, don't tell him! He doesn't know what condiment it is. Like ketchup? It, he's gonna guess! No, it's not ketchup. It's probably mustard. No. No. It's probably relish. Nope. nope. It's probably salsa. Nope. Stop guessing. So I got it. No. Yeah, you got it, but it's something else. I am! Just doing like the video thing! Okay, I guess just opening it like this. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Ben doesn't have all day here. Let's go. Okay. You can just cut it, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. Take this. Spoon. Now eat Back it. Up in. Now eat it. Eat it. Is there something on it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> no, no, I didn't do it! <laughs> By the way, that was mustard and ranch. So, yeah. <laughs> it's so tangy. I could go into my jaw. All right, I'm good. Easy. Stop breathing. Oh, it's so loud, I mean, uh... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, so hold... Hold that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got this. Alright. That. And we got this. And put that on there. And if you will give me this. 
Okay, <laughs> stop hyperventilating. <laughs> you got that? Looks like a normal one. Yeah, I don't know. Here. Eat, eat. Go. Oh. oh, Aiden. <laughs> okay, you good? Alright, so that's an Oreo. Is it just an Oreo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just a, just a, a normal Oreo. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> It's slimy in there, man. <laughs> I can it. feel it. It's not slimy at all. Just eat it, man. Eat! I'm done. That's it. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what it is. Ranch in an Oreo. Ben, I hope you got your stuff. <laughs> it's ranch in an Oreo. That was disgusting. But yeah, no, that was disgusting. There is no butt to this joke. <laughs> butt to the joke. <laughs> uh, back to you, Ben. They are nuts. I would not eat that. I literally called Alex and, and Cam and was like, "Here's what I want you to do." Find things in your house because I can't even come and drop something off. And they're like, we got stuff. It's good. Don't worry about it. So thank you, Cam and Alex and the Strickland family for being good sports with everything we do. But you're like, why in the world did you just get Cam to eat some crazy food? And what does that have to do with anything? It does. There is a purpose. There's a reason. Don't worry. Here's the thought we have tonight is I did an illustration of food because what we consume has a reaction afterwards. Here's two verses I want to read with you tonight. First one is Proverbs 13, 20. Walk with the wise and become wise, for a company of fools suffers harm. Here's the other verse as I flip in my Bible. It's uh, first chrono no. First Corinthians uh, 15, 13, 15. 1 Corinthians uh, 15, 33. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. What we consume affects us. You think about it in a food way. Cam ate something. <laughs> When it was nasty, his reaction was nasty. Here's another way of thinking about it. As athletes, you know how I know what we eat affects us? Is otherwise athletes would eat pizza. You guys know I played college, uh, university football. And when I finished playing football, most of you know my story. I had so many concussions, I couldn't count them anymore. Uh -huh. It's a funny joke. Um, and then after football... I kind of rechanged everything because God had healed me and I had an opportunity to play professional hockey and I changed everything I did and changed my body completely to be a hockey player now. Football player and hockey player, big difference. And over that year, I learned how much food affected me. You think about an athlete. Some of you are swimmers. Some of you are basketball players. Some of you are hockey players. All these different sports you play. If you go and eat a pizza right before you play, it affects you. If you went and drank a slushy, good or bad, it affects you. If you go and eat a salad, it affects you. What we eat affects us. So that's, when you think about it like an athlete or like a body, a human body, and eating, now I want you to think about it spiritually. What you're digesting, what you're consuming in your life affects your relationship with God and your spiritual life. What we have in our life, what we have around us affect us. Here's another thing I know. I know that if you eat pizza, you smell like pepperoni. I love pizza with like um, the really dirty smelling like uh, Italian sausage or bacon or ham or all those meats that are really strong smell smelling. You know what I mean? And that shows me that I smell like pepperoni after I have a pizza. When you sit... When you live in sin, when you listen to sinful music, when you watch sinful things, when you have sinful people around you constantly, and you're not grounded in God, your sin starts to show. That sin is something you're consuming, and it is coming out. There's a reaction to that sin. 
this this verse here, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Here's two questions I want to ask you tonight. And I'm, I'm not talking long because we're going to head over to Zoom. And I want you to go to Zoom. If you came last week and watched and they're like, oh, it's done. We're going to really dive into discussion. This is just kind of setting up for discussion. Here's two questions I want to ask you that are really weird questions. What's your diet look like? What does your daily intake look like? And I'm not talking about food. I don't want to know what you ate unless you ate really good pizza because I love pizza. So tell me where you got it from because I love pizza. Uh, Tito's is my current favorite pizza in Guelph. Tito's or Victoria's, I think. Anyways, I'm not talking about food. What I'm talking about is what did you do today? What did you do yesterday? What are you doing tomorrow? Here's how I'm challenged in my life. Uh, We're in a pandemic. I don't know if you know there's this virus out there. It's a little harmful, and we're all on lockdown right now. Didn't know if you knew that. And what I see is I see I have so much extra time, or I have different time, I should say, because we all are still busy and 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 stressed and all these different things we had in life. We still have, because you guys are still in school online, but I find I have more time to do different things. And I look at my day, and I think, what's my day? What do I do every day? Where does my devotions fit in my day? Because if they're the five minutes at the end of my day and then the rest of my day is filled with negativity and sin and things that I know are not of God, well, then I'm eating a steady diet of the world and I'm not eating a diet of God. What's our diets look like? I want to challenge you with that tonight. I was challenged in my life. What does my daily routine look like? Because there's things I need to do that don't involve God necessarily, like uh, going to work, maybe going to school for you. You're like, well, I've got to do schoolwork online. I can't. I get that. So then what are you doing with the rest of the time of your day? What does the rest of your diet look like? Because I can eat a cheeseburger for lunch and have four salads in my day. You can go to school all day, be tired and stressed, and fill that time before and after with God. Throw on worship music. Pray. Read your Bible. Do you smell like pepperoni? (laughs) That's a really weird question. I'm well aware of it. But do you smell like pepper? Like, do you smell like, do do people see sin in you when they look at you? You know, it's not one of those things that if you sin, your parents are going to look at you and be like, I know you sinned. Some parents do that. It freaks you out. I know, I get it. But I'm not talking about that. I'm thinking about when you're, when you listen to like terrible secular music, not all secular music is terrible, but what I'm saying is when you are putting words in your mind and in your heart that are not of God and actually contradicting of your faith and everything against God, when you're hanging out with friends or talking about fr- talking with friends or uh, gaming with friends all day or all night and you're constantly getting these words and these thoughts and the, this different lifestyle that's not of God in you, what do you look like? What does your life look like? Here's how I know that affects us. Because when someone does something that frustrates me, I get frustrated. Somebody does something sinful when I'm there and I don't stand up for my faith. I don't step out to be different or I don't just turn away and be like, you know what? I'm good. I'm just going to go pray for an hour or two. I'm just going to hang out over here. I'm going to go call these friends and game with them or different things like that. Being around that sin affects you. It does, whether you know it or not. So like when you eat a piece of pizza and your breath smells like pizza, what what do you smell like? What is your life? What does your spiritual life look like? And those are my two challenges for you tonight. Now, Pastor John, junior highs, you're going to meet with Pastor John. If you don't have uh, the Zoom info, please email him jkendaya at parkviewchurch.ca. Your parents have his email. Uh, Also, um, you can text him, call him, or whatever. He's available for that. Same with me, Senior Highs. If you don't have the Zoom, uh, go on Parkview Student on Instagram, Junior Highs as well. You can Instagram us to get the password and info. But we're heading over to Zoom now, and we're going to continue the conversation. we got three or four questions to go through, and it's going to be fun, but we're also going to go a little deep here. So uh, I love you guys. If I don't see you, I'll see you next week online. So head over to Zoom. Have a great night, guys.